Hey guys, so Android 11 is now official. In this video, let's take a look at all the exciting new features and compare it with iOS 13. This video is not about comparing which one is better, but taking a look at how these brands have implemented these features. So there are no major changes in, but some minor and important ones. Starting things with the new dark mode settings, you are now getting a schedule option in the Android 11. That means you can select custom time or sunset to sunrise. According to a selection, the dark theme would turn on automatically. The iOS 13 is already having such option both in light and dark theme, which is impressive. Also the settings interface looks cool on iOS 13. In terms of the notifications, Google has done some changes. The notifications now have dedicated section like conversation for messages, hangouts, there's also silent notifications and in the future Google plans to differentiate it more. iOS 13 is not having such dedicated conversation option which is also super fine. You can reply from the notification panel in both these operating system. You can also enable the option called show as bubble in Android. You'll see notifications as Facebook Messenger kinda bubble which looks cool and is handy for sure. Permission is where Google has done some main changes. You are now getting only 3 options only this time while using the application or deny. There is no always on application, always allow application and this is something that most wanted for privacy reason. There is no such thing in iOS 13. So in comparison, for sure Google is improving the privacy and security. Now we finally have visible screen recorder option in Android 11. You also get this feature in iOS 13. So in the quick settings, there's an option screen record and in the control panel of iOS 13, you'll get this option. Selecting this on both these devices, it is now recording. You can turn it off. Both of them are having different settings for turning off as well. In terms of the static screenshot, Google is also revamping the whole screenshot menu with tons of new options and this is just a sneak peek. iOS 13 is already having tons of new options in the screenshot. You can add it, you can modify it, you can use paint and there are tons of options in there. If you share this screenshot, the share menu also had new options to pin application. Like you use that application to share the images or screenshot, you can pin it on top. Like I use Gmail to share my stuff always and I can pin it to the top in Android 11. There's no such option in the iOS 13. You guys know many devices these days are coming with high refresh rate, the Pixel 4 features, 90Hz display and so will be the next iPhones. To track this where your device is using 60Hz or 90Hz or 120Hz, you can enable that settings from developer option. You can see it on top, it shows 60Hz cause I'm using Pixel 3 right now and there's no such option in iOS 13. Maybe in the future, Apple is gonna add it. So that's all guys, these are some huge changes in Android 11 versus iOS 13. Which you think did it better? I mean in terms of interface, in terms of accessibility. Let me know in the comment section, meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.